I'm Shannon Steffi, Senior Editor for Internal Auditor Magazine. Today I'm talking to Iyad Mortada, Managing Director at Open Thinking in the United Arab Emirates. Iyad will present two sessions at the IA's International Conference in New York. Thanks for joining us, Iyad. How do you see internal audit's role evolving as we move into 2016 and beyond? Do you know, we can see that internal audit function is not an add-on anymore. It's not an optional for organization to have it. Internal auditors currently are playing strategic and critical role in their organization in helping them achieve their goals. We can see that many internal audit functions down currently are not just doing risk-based audit, but they move to conduct objective-based audit. They have created something called assurance strategy. When we are speaking about assurance strategy, it's all about focusing on the future. So rather than just doing a passive audit that's focusing on what happened last year, they are helping their organization in understanding what are the objectives, the goals, do they have the internal controls and risk management processes to ensure they achieve the growth and potential for tomorrow. In addition, internal auditors currently are playing an advisory role more in helping organization in conducting risk management, in ensuring that you know, the strategic planning and execution in, is done in the right way. Will internal audit core competencies change in the future? And if so, how will they differ from today's core competencies? You know, we can see recently that, you know, for internal audit, it's not enough anymore for them to have, you know, uh, uh, the ability to follow the standards and earn CIA and perform effectively as internal audit. Uh, what they need to do, they need to gain, you know, more skills. Definitely, you know, they need to gain the technical skills that will allow them to understand their industry, oil and gas, healthcare, whatever industry they are in, as well as they need to gain what we call it you know, the personal skills, they need to be able to communicate effectively with the stakeholders to understand their expectation. But what I can see in the future, two skills that internal auditors, they need to improve. The first one is related to technical skills. So using technology, using, you know, soft, uh, software tools for them to be able to do continuous auditing, to be able to automate the testing process, for them to be able to do it more effectively, this is one area that they need to improve on and understand you know, how effective they can conduct an audit using that. And the second thing, especially in an, uh, an age, we call it the machine age, where now if as internal auditors, we are using these tools, these techniques to automate the process, what left to us is to do the critical thinking. Do we have the ability to do the, uh, what we call it the judgment call and the analytical thinking to, uh, to decide that this is the appropriate action that management should take based on the audit. Uh, 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 results that you know all these software give us or not. What are some of the more recent fraud trends you've seen? You know, it's very interesting when we are speaking about fraud, we can see that fraud moved from being internally done into in, in externally. You know, in, in the old days, all the books written called conducting internal fraud investigation. Now we need to write something called conducting external fraud investigation because what's happening, we can see in just the financial sector last year, 59% of the fraud is happening externally. We can see that, you know, fraud, uh, fraudsters are thinking now outside the box because they don't need to be inside the organization. They can hack into the organization and see the most valuable asset, which is information, intellectual property. Organization, they are securing their cash and they are securing their assets and they are forgetting that information is the most important thing need to be secured. How can internal auditors best prepare themselves to detect fraud, especially when fraud is constantly being reinvented? You know, we can see the IIA recently, they, they mentioned so many issues related to cybersecurity and how important it's for, you know, internal auditors to gain the knowledge related to cybersecurity. We can see ISACA recently, they created a new certification, especially for internal auditors related to cybersecurity, cybersecurity, the Nexus certificate. And we can see even in fraud uh, examination domain, they are focusing now on how can you protect your organization from external fraud related, to, you know, to hackers. So the knowledge, understanding the fundamentals, understanding, you know, what are the weaknesses inside the organization. This is the beginning for internal auditors. How are fraudsters using technological advances to their advantage? You know, it's funny, you know, I deliver this, the fraud of uh, the future of uh, fraud presentation all over the world. And every time someone will come and say, it's all because of the technology. And I can say, no, it's not. It's because of the principle of fraud. The principle of fraud is related to trust. So fraud is a question of trust. If you trust me and after I violate your trust, that's what fraud is. So the same thing with technology, you get an email. 
and this email you think it's from trusted person so you open it and then you discover there's a virus in it so now with the technology and with the advance of the technology hackers they said okay we are gonna focus not on actually breaking the system of the organization because organization they have very powerful system they have antivirus they have firewalls they have all these systems but they need to break the weakest link in the organization which is the human and with a human they look at you know any interaction with someone outside the organization and they trust that source or they trust that software or that application and they interact with it this is where disaster will happen so we need to ensure that it's not only about the system that's inside the organization it's about the awareness that we give to these individuals to ensure that the system is doing the job that you know it's designed to do what do you think is the most important takeaway from your presentation do you know it's uh, so lovely when someone will, will say you know internal audit is a, 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 an old name it's like you know 25 years ago 35 years ago you know they they started a term called internal audit inside the organization and it's still the same i i say now ia internal audit is changed ia currently is we call it it's innovation advocates it's not internal auditor anymore inside organization in dubai in the uae when the government decided to create a new position for what, or what we call a chief innovation officer organization decided to go and hire the chief audit executive to be the chief innovation officer because he was for a long time asking for the changes recommending improvement and now he got his uh, uh, chance to be able to work hands in hands with the management to, to implement this uh, innovation so it's very important for internal auditor to understand what is the role that they can play in improving the organization and creating that innovation this is number one number two continuous you know uh, auditing techniques are they implementing them effectively for us to do what we call it you know on time audit 24 hours audit we don't need to do this audit where it's happening every one year cycle three year cycle we can do continuous audit and finally for internal auditors to be effective in their organization it's not enough anymore for them to conduct the audit and come up with the result they need to have the negotiation skills they need to be able to sell their recommendation to management for you know for uh, uh, implementation to be done effectively thank you iad we're looking forward to your presentation in new york this summer thank you very much